Hey guys, I finished rebuilding the engine and now it's time to put the bike back together. Here's the list of reassembly milestones that we're going to tackle during this video. The process is surprisingly straightforward, especially if you were the one to take the bike apart to begin with. Check out my teardown videos for a more detailed look at how these components are held in place. I'll put links in the video description. First up, reinstalling the engine. Basically we need to raise the motor up and rotate it forward, then shimmy it around until we can line up the mounting bolts. Once the rear bolts are in, the motor will be correctly positioned and oriented without the jack, and we can put the front hangers and front mounting bolts in. There are four electrical connectors that we need to plug back in. Three are under this bell-shaped polymer hood, and then there's one a little lower down in the middle. There's a radiator hose on the left and another on the right that gets secured with a hose clamp. The starter motor has a positive and negative eyelet that gets clamped into place by the bolts. The front sprocket goes under the chain and then slides onto the counter shaft and is held in place by the fixing plate. Once secured, the front sprocket cover goes back on. Tighten the chain using the jack screws in the swing arm. Tighten until the holes in the swing arm line up with the same measurement marking on both sides and there's between 20 and 30 millimeters, or about an inch, of slack in the chain. Once the chain is tightened, you can torque the rear axle. The gear shifter is held on by a pinch bolt. The clutch bracket is held on by two small bolts. Be sure to hook the clutch cable into the clutch lifter arm. Now that the engine is all situated, we can put the rest of the bike back together. I installed the airbox and throttle body first. Before I install the fuel tank, I dumped the old gas since it had been sitting around for almost six months. Adding oil to the crankcase is super easy, just take it slow with an eye on the sight glass so you can nail the proper oil level. Add coolant to the radiator, and then top up the coolant reservoir. That's super important since you won't be able to fill the whole coolant system from the radiator cap. There's just too many passages that are filled with air. Connect the battery terminals and tighten the hold down bracket. Add fresh gas. Install the seats, and install the exhaust. Well, except for the fairings, that's everything. Let's turn the key and see if it works. Take it out for a quick spin.
that was awesome. Thanks for watching.